Warning, the video you're about to watch contains an inordinate amount of awesome. Viewer excitement is advised. We're Lottie and Margaret. <laughs> we love e-bikes, camper vans, and cats. We've decided to do something we've never seen done before. Install four roof windows at the top of our van, two of which are tempered glass panorama windows. Our new van build has a pretty great design and we're using every millimeter on this roof for our solars and our windows. We want cross ventilation from the small and the big windows to maximize our natural light insulation, and privacy. If we mess this up, our roof won't be sturdy. We could have these windows fall down and hurt us, or we could get some really bad leaking. This is this is what I was afraid of. If we succeed, this will be one of the coolest features of our entire build. Seeing these windows taken apart, I have to admit, that's pretty good quality. This one unified plastic piece, wow. Really good motors, simple switch, reversing polarity, I love it. I think we can just make this much, much better. <laughs> I got the music playing loud How you like my outfit? I have to say I'm kinda proud I got my dancing shoes on And I'm feeling dangerous Let's get this party started Yeah, we gon' be adventurous We went to the club like we always do This girl caught my eye, said, how do you do? She said, I am not interested, thank you Then she left the room Bartender. I'll have the usual, give me the usual, I'll take the usual, I'll have the usual, give me the usual, another usual. Wow! That's pretty killer. That is unreal. So he gave us a good educational introduction to how to deal with this. That's epic. Imagine, seriously, that on the roof. <laughs> you know how much this one was? How much? $85 for both. So the glue they used to connect all these layers together and seal it off is not UV resistant. So I need to create some kind of a plastic frame to cover it all up, to cover the edge, and then I can, with this frame, glue it onto my wooden frame. This is going to be really, really good, I expect. The main focus before the install is creating custom frames to support all four windows. The cutout on the top of the van is so large that without a proper frame, the windows would have minimal attachment strength and the top of the van could easily begin to warp or become unstable. The frames act as a secondary attachment point for the windows as well. Lottie is creating a custom frame for each cutout because each window is a different size. Because I'm such a tight uh, with the space, I have roughly this much in the front of the solar, in between windows, in between windows there, and probably that much uh, on the back of the car. Mm -hmm. This is how much I'm, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm playing with.
Last video we told you how we were waiting a good while for kids. But right now we're on our way to impregnate. This is really convenient that the guys that work here on the saw actually impregnate now and then wood. So... Can you just explain what it is to people who don't know? It prevents pests. You won't have any bugs in there. It prevents, it prevents uh, mold and all of that. I keep it overnight to dry a little bit and tomorrow we can glue it on a van. If you've ever seen wood with a greenish tint, this is why. <laughs> you look like some sort of mad Czech scientist right now. <laughs> bit of a mammoth here, a little bit of a mammoth there, bang bang and the van is done. <laughs> We have secured a reservation with our buddy's place that's the mechanic with the two lovely dogs. So we'll be heading over there to do the install of the windows because it's just too cold outside to be able to let any of the glue cure. Also his mechanic garage is kind of a BYOW situation, which is bring your own wood. This had to be thinner because it goes really close to the side to the side of the van. So that's why it's a little bit harder wood. I didn't even glue it in here because these screws only hold it up until I glue it to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. I see how this is already loose. This, yeah. This is this is what I was afraid of. Mm -hmm. So that's this is exactly what I'm preventing by cutting the small windows first, gluing the frame on. But the big ones, I'm gluing the frame first. Otherwise, we would end up with this thin strip, and can you imagine how loose that would be? It'd be falling everywhere. Yep. yep. So I'm gluing this big one first to create a support and make it harder and stiffer. Mm -hmm. And then after it's glued the second day, I'm gonna be cutting the hole. Whoa, no you didn't! <laughs> Honey! Is the mammoth 
King. King Master. <laughs> Dobrý ráno! Co děláš? To ty je nový? Jo? Je krásný! Wow! <laughs> Tatík? Tatík je tady. Clean up some of the mammoth. That's a sign for me. I have enough. And this this will be fine. This will be pretty good. I did a layer on the top yesterday too. All the parameter to compensate this curve. And now I'm gonna pre-drill holes to the metal and glue it in. Wow, Crocs would be so beneficial now. To support the windows, we created four different ledges of support. The sandwich window sits on these ledges securely and is glued from the top. The ledges are bumpered and fixed to a wooden frame, which is fixed to the van. This is a very snug fit and these windows aren't going anywhere. This is very enjoyable, seriously very enjoyable part of the life. This will be a nice support for the, for the roof windows. I'm gonna add one more support in the middle, but this so far is pretty good. The, just the only thing the window guy told me that it needs to be on something softer. So I decided to use these leftovers we used for the windows here, for the cover. And I'm gonna just hammer them in. You did. Oh, that was actually my bunny's idea. <laughs> I am proud of that idea, actually. That was a good one. 
unless it doesn't work. Each window has three layers. The outer two layers are strong and tempered, and the inner layer of glass has a special metallic treatment that reflects radiant heat. Between each layer is argon gas, which helps insulate and protect against condensation. This is art. This is nothing short of art. This was our creative energy and Lottie's brilliant execution. And there's a lot of reasoning behind some of this, so I want to explain it. You'll notice that this here is actually slanted. So both of these glass roof windows are slanted. And the reason why is for when it rains, this will glide all the way down and won't sit there on the roof and seep into all of these edges. Instead, it will go right off of the side of the van. Everybody congratulate Lottie in the comments because this ex execution is like nothing I've ever seen before. To the millimeter, all of this is covered. There's only glue from the top, not down below. So if there is any sort of leak, we'll know right away and we won't have it getting stuck in the, and then like impacting the wood. This is a studio and it's amazing. Oh. I absolutely love the coziness <laughs> of having the bed here. Yep. And then you always see the environment. Moving branches, flying birds, and just drifting sky. It's amazing. This will be the most killer spot <laughs> where you just sit and hang out. You see the landscape there, you see what is on that side, and you always see the sky moving. That's like submerged in the nature. I can't, can't get over this. This heated up, negative five outside, and you have all these killer locations only for yourself. <laughs> you don't pay anything for it. This is, you would pay a fortune for locations like we stayed in Albania. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and this insulated too. This is not gonna force us to lose any heat that's the, or become too much of like a greenhouse. That's the smartest part, that this is actually no trade-off for uh, uh, convenience and, uh, and a heat. <laughs>